My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm the addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today show. Let's talk about the 10 signs that life is getting better, although it doesn't feel like it is. The best thing about the worst things we go through in, uh, is uh, pretty much that they are always a pathway to something better. A breakdown equals a breakthrough, which we haven't seen the other side of yet. Often, we think of our lives in the most chaos, it's because they are setting to where we want them to be. My friends, here are a few, sometimes difficult signs that your life is actually changing for the better, even if it doesn't feel like it. Number one on my list is you're recognizing that you, uh, what you don't want. All of a sudden, you're becoming acutely aware of how much you dislike your work habits and how much your friends drain you and how little you feel like yourself lately. It may seem like you're uh, st you know, d d dissecting the anatomy of a disaster, but really, you're getting clear on what you don't want so you can get clearer about what you do want, my friends. Number two on my list is you're opening up to people again. Isolation is no longer the most appealing option to you. Even if you're just thinking about a few, uh, uh, or uh, about the fact that you need to open your heart more to the people around you, you're already on the right track and you should keep going on that track. Number three, you're unpredictably emotional. It's just another way of saying that you're not uh, suppressing everything anymore. You're beginning to feel like uh, everything brings you a step closer to being able to deal with those feelings in a real way. Number four on my list is a lot of annoying cliches are starting to make sense. You're seeing why hard work is important and being present matters and positivity is a choice. You're seeing how love is something you create and your life is what you make of it and everything else that seemed like vapid Useless fodder is now the answer to everything. If you only could master it, that would be the ideal solution. Number five is you're becoming hyper self-conscious. It's just a side effect of becoming more self-aware. Alternatively, you're finally reaching a healthy equilibrium of being able to recognize both the positive and the negative aspects about who you are without denying or inflating either or. Number six, the changes you desire in your life surround uh, wanting to feel more like yourself, not less. In the past, you may have dreamt of a life where you were uh, successful or incredibly beautiful or completely loved, all in an effort to combat feeling of proportionately uh, bad about yourself. When you're more in your center, you want your life to reflect who you are and not who you wish you were. Number seven, you feel lost, which is just another way of saying you're detaching from the old ideas about uh, what your life should be or what the future should hold for you and so on. Living in the present feels an awful lot like being lost before we get used to it. Guys, it hot out here? I'm sorry, folks. I'm constantly wiping the sweat. Number eight is you're seeing your hardships as portals, a better understanding of yourself. Rather than battle off your emotional trauma, your lowest uh, self-esteem or worse, try to control something else in its place. You are beginning to realize that on the other side of these things that most deeply plague you is the deeper truth about who you are. Number nine, you're beginning to realize that if you have a problem in your life, the problem is uh, you. That's what it is. Aside from the fact that people love to project their issues onto other people and deflect from their own faults, whether or not a situation was your fault or not, if it is affecting you, it is your responsibility to change. The blame game is irrelevant. It's as simple as that. Take care of yourself. Number 10 is you know you're not getting enough out of life itself, but now, you're starting to, uh, well, maybe caring enough either way. You complain that you don't have a love, but you don't actually go out and try to find love to date, uh, to date and find love. You hate your job, but you don't look for another job. You always stress, 
but you don't work on being better about regulating your emotions or being able to focus harder and work more effectively and efficiently. You both recognize that you want more from your life and understand that that's time that you start making things happen in your own life. Folks, you have to take care of yourself. Life will get better and it does get better. Call me at 844-405-HELP and together we can help each other take our lives back. Remember to always take good care of yourself and more importantly, be good to others. Folks, your life is getting better, I promise you. And through the grace of God, God will bless you all and may God bless America. Goodbye and remember this, you are your best friend. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.